what is going on everyone and welcome back to another video i hope you're all having a fantastic day and in today's video i'll be ranking every single trade of the afl 2022 trade period now i did see carlin make a video on this and i'm pretty sure you can made this team maker list so credit to them but anyway let's begin you're probably wondering why there's only six players just because the person that made this put this into two parts so all the other players that got traded are just on another team maker so i'll get to that shortly but we'll start with these six players First off, Dan McStay. I only reckon he's the best 22 player. I don't reckon he's that good. I reckon he's a little bit overrated. I just see him being sort of like a half forward. He's not really a key forward. And yeah, I reckon he will just finish with the pies best 22 nicely as he's a much needed player in their list. Then we got Tim Taranto. He's definitely a really solid pickup. I don't know if he's quite best of the best just yet in his career he's still only like 24 25 so he still hasn't really hit his peak yet i reckon he's a year or two off from his peak and for now he'll be really solid pickup but he will work his way up to the best of the best then we got Jaden hunt from west coast i'm assuming he went to west coast for better opportunities so i'm going to put him in best 22 as he should find a spot in west coast best 22 Blake Akers, I reckon he's a very underrated player and a fantastic pickup to Carlton. I reckon he's a really solid pickup player. I reckon Carlton really, really need Blake Akers on the list to fill in that wing role. And yeah, I'm surprised Freeman gave him up for not that much as I really reckon he's an underrated player. Then we have Bobby Hill. He's shown a lot of potential, but for now, I would just put him in best 22. He could be a really solid pickup in a year's or two time, depending on how well he plays. And apart from that, I reckon that's a perfect spot to put him. Then we've got Carl Amon. I would honestly put him in between best 22 and really solid pickup, but I'll put him at the end of really solid pickup for now as his left foot is just fantastic. He's a lovely ball user, and I reckon it's a handy pickup for Hawthorne. Start off with Toby Bedford from the Giants. I would say he's the best 22 player. I reckon he's just a handy pickup, small forward player. And I really honestly like him. I think he's underrated. He didn't get much opportunities in Melbourne, but he'll definitely get a lot more at the Giants. Next up, we got Barry from Gold Coast. It's hard to say. I haven't really seen him too much, but I'm going to say backup player for now just because with Gold Coast midfield of Raul, Miller, you name them, Anderson, I just feel like it would be hard for him to fit into that group. Gold Coast are a fantastic contested team, so it would definitely be hard to find a way into that midfield. He could get opportunities. It could prove me wrong, but I'm going to put him in backup player for now. Next up, we got Jack Bowes. It's sort of a hard one. I heard something about Chris Scott saying he'll be in their best 22, so I'll take his word for it and put him in their best 22. Tanner Bruin, it's a hard one. Honestly, I'm going to put him as a backup player. He didn't really play every game for Giants, so why could he play every game for Geelong with how stacked their list is? So that's why I'm going to put him as a backup player. Next up, we got Josh Corbett from Fremantle. It's another very, very tough one. I reckon he'll start off in their best 22, but the problem is really fade off and be a backup player. I'm going to put him in best 22 for now, but that could very easily change. It's a bit of a 50-50. Then we got Cordy from St Kilda, another very, very tricky one. I think I'm going to put them in best 22 just because of what St Kilda have been saying, that it will be nice to help out their defence. So I'm assuming he will play in their best 22, at least at the start of the year. The problem is, I don't know if he'll stay in there. Then we got Josh Dunkley. A really solid pickup, I reckon, for Brisbane. I don't reckon he's quite best of the best, but he's a very good, solid player, and I reckon he's a really solid pickup for Brisbane. Then we got Billy Frampton. Personally, I reckon he's a best 22 player. I reckon he's a very good pickup for Collingwood. He couldn't f quite find a spot on the team at Adelaide, even though he probably should have, but I reckon in Collingwood, I just reckon he'll play better in the Collingwood team for some reason. Then we got Aaron Francis from Sydney, my team. Honestly, I think he'll find it hard to make a way in our best 22. I'm going to put him as a backup player for now. But Sydney are known to making average plays into stars. But I reckon he'll get opportunities early in the year. But after that, I reckon he'll just be a backup player. Then we got Grundy from Melbourne. I reckon he's a really solid pickup. I mean, they basically got him for not that much at all. And he's obviously, I don't know how many times he... He's one in all Australian, but it's that many I can't keep track. He's a fantastic player and a very good pickup to Melbourne. Then we got Jack Gunston. Now I reckon he's honestly a really solid pickup. Most people might have him in best 22, but I reckon he's a really solid pickup just because Brisbane sort of need a forward like him 
as Danaher and Hippolyta just to be inconsistent so Gunston can really help them out. Then we've got Jacob Hopper from Richmond. He's definitely another really solid pickup, a fantastic young midfielder. And yep, he could even get to the best of the best. You never know in these next couple of years. Then we got Horn Francis, another really solid pickup, I reckon. You know, obviously he's an absolute star in the makings. So yeah, he has to go on really solid pickup. Lockie Hunter, honestly, I don't really rate him too much, and I reckon he's just a backup player. It would be hard for him to get opportunities to play in Melbourne if he couldn't really get too many opportunities at the Bulldogs. So yeah, I'm just going to put him in backup player. Then we've got Luke Jackson. Honestly, I'm going to put him in best 22. This is a very unpopular opinion, but I don't rate him like a lot of people do. Everyone's acting like he's going to be a star of the game. Freeman, I did give a lot up to get him. I reckon he's just a best 22 player until he proves himself a lot more. So that's where I'm going to put him. Then we got O Mira. Honestly, I reckon this is a fantastic pickup for Fremantle. I'm surprised Hawthorne let two of their star veterans go. That was just unbelievable. But I reckon he's a really solid pickup to Hawthorne and with, to Fremantle, should I say, and it will fit into their list perfectly. As sort of like a David Mundy replacement. Then we've got Jones from Bulldogs. I reckon he's a good pickup. Just because he hasn't played for a while, I'm going to put him in best 22. Otherwise, I would honestly put him in really solid pickup as the Bulldogs really need a defender like him. And then you've got Rory Lobb. He's definitely another really, really solid pickup for the Bulldogs. They really need a key position player, whether it's back or forward. And he's definitely going to fit into their forward line really well. Then we've got Long from Gold Coast. Honestly, it's sort of hard to get a read of him. I haven't really watched him that much. I'm going to put him in best 22 for now, as he probably should make their best 22. Next up, we've got Lloyd Meek. I haven't really seen a lot of him, so I'm just going to put him as a backup player. But you never know, he might fit perfectly into Hawthorne's best 22. Next up, we've got Ollie Henry. I really, really like him. I reckon he's a fantastic player. And I reckon he should fit into Geelong's best 22, even though they have a pretty damn good forward line. I reckon he's just he has too much talent to miss out. I know he missed out on Conwood, but I reckon that's just because he wasn't a favourited choice player. I reckon he should fit into Geelong's best 22, and he is a very good player. Next up, we got Isaac Rankin. He's definitely a really solid pickup. The, all the talk's been on him, and I reckon he's a yeah. We all know he's a fantastic player and just a brilliant small forward, and he should be a really solid pickup for. Adelaide. Next up we got really Rioli. Honestly I'll put him in between best 22 and really solid pickup. But for now I'll just put him in best 22. I reckon he's a very good pickup to Port Adelaide. He's definitely a play they need, a small forward, they definitely need another run and I reckon he's just a fantastic pickup for them and he should do well in Port Adelaide. Then we got Shaki to Melbourne. Honestly I'm gonna put him in backup player. I don't reckon he's the best player in the world. He could fit into the best 22, don't get me wrong. I haven't really watched too much of him playing, so I don't really know where to put him. But for now, I'm just going to put him as a backup player. Next up, we've got Tom Mitchell to Collingwood. I'm going to put him in best of the best, as he's a fantastic player. The ball magnet, as he calls himself. And he's just a fantastic Clements beast, and exactly what Collingwood need. And they got him for not that much as well, and he's just going to be a fantastic gun for them. Then we've got Sam Wiedemann for Essendon. This is a very interesting one. I'm going to put him in best 22 just, just. Look, he'll probably fade and not be best 22, but you never know if Sam Wiedemann. He could also fit into their back lane. You never know where they're going to play him. And you just never know if Sam Wiedemann. So I'm just going to put him in best 22 for now. Then we've got Cooper Stevens. You have to put him as a backup player as he hasn't really played that much. He'll probably get more opportunities at Hawthorn for sure than what he did at Geelong. But for now, I'm just going to put him as a backup player. And lastly, Will Setterfield. I honestly reckon he's a very underrated player. And to be honest, you know what? I'm going to put him in best 22. Could be an unpopular opinion, but I don't really care. But anyway guys, that is my tier list of all the trades. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.